Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. ¿Cómo están? Good evening, teacher. Bye, thank you. Qué bueno. Bye. And you? Great. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Vaya, el día de ahora vamos a ver un tema interesante. Eh, vamos a ver el uso de... Bueno, primero vamos a ver el, diferentes deportes que se practican en, en los Estados Unidos. Sin embargo, quiero compartirles una imagen antes de que iniciemos. Permítanme un momento, por favor. Ok. Uh, I'm going to write it down here. So famous sports in the USA. That's going to be our topic for today's lesson, okay? And uh, there you have Cristiano Ronaldo versus Messi. And I want you to raise your hand and tell me who is the best soccer player. Cristiano Ronaldo versus Messi. Messi. Okay. Now, in your own words, tell me who is the best soccer player? Who do you think? Who do you think? Do you think the best soccer player is? Who do you think the best soccer player is? If you have the answer, raise your hand and tell me. And why do you consider uh, the that soccer player is the best? Tell me some reasons. Okay, if you would like to participate, just raise your hand and then I'm going to let you participate. Uh-huh. Some volunteers. Who do you think the best soccer player is? Uh-huh. Julio. Bye. Okay, Lizeth, you're first. Thank you. Uh, my best soccer player is in uh, tiempo for Ronaldo. Ah, Ronaldo de Brasil. Okay, but we are talking about uh, Cristiano Ronaldo from Portugal. Right now, yes. the current soccer player. Yes, Julio. Yes. Who do you think the best soccer player is? Yeah. Good evening. Uh, for, for, good evening. Excuse me. For me, the best. Uh, the best soccer player is uh, Messi. Messi. Why? Uh, because he is complete. Uh, what do you mean? He's complete. Uh, Ronaldo is complete too. Yes, but uh, for me, uh, there is a different, a different. Messi is uh, more complete. Messi uh, is not complete. But what do you, more, what do you mean? More, uh, Rifla, <laughs> mete goles, eh, construye jugadas. Mm -hmm. eh, so Messi is more complete. Yes, Messi because is, he has is, better is, better characteristics. Okay. He is faster. He has more abilities. Is that what you is that what you are saying? Okay. But for me, Messi is. He, he, he is 
more complete because uh, and I, I don't know how to say it, but in Spanish, I como le dije, mete goles, construye jugadas, dribla, tiro libre. He is com more complete for me. He is more complete. Okay, Wilber, who is the best soccer player in your opinion? Messi or uh, Cristiano Ronaldo? Who do you think is the best soccer player? Mm. Messi. Why? There you have a picture. Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh -huh. Tell me why. Mm. For, for me, is best, best in the soccer. Okay. He is the best soccer. He is best playing soccer. Okay. Okay. What else can you tell me? Dice Jenny, no podré conectarme. Aún no llego a casa. Okay, Jenny. Ajá. Uh -huh. Give me more characteristics and the reason why uh, you think Messi is the best soccer player. Yes. Mm, quiero ver. No, no, no sé cómo darle más características. Yeah. Okay, so you can say Messi is faster. Uh, Messi has a lot of abilities. Messi uh, gets the targets. Okay, so those are some characteristics that you can use in order to describe a soccer player. Okay, now uh, that was just like a warm up. However, um, the main topic for today's date. Today's date is famous sports in the USA. What I want you to do, guys, is to write down the famous sports on the chat, the ones that you remember, all the ones that you remember. Famous sports in the USA. Famous sports. Uh, all the ones that I you remember. remember. I remember uh, uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh -huh. Now Mike Tyson. And the soccer, uh, Donovan, okay, um, um swim, 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 uh, swimming, mm -hmm. uh, Mark Speed, okay, Michael Kyle, what, what about, um, Connor in, in tennis. Okay, so uh -huh. we have tennis, but I need just the, just the sports. So we have tennis, you mentioned swimming. What else do we have? You can what type else? it on the on the chat, type it on the chat. So we were also talking about soccer, okay? Give me, okay, yeah. baseball, baseball. baseball. Yeah, okay. baseball, okay? Uh, what else do we have? Uh, the could be uh, ball. Basketball. Uh, in basketball, uh, Larry Beer. Robbie. Uh, golf. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Robbie. Okay. What other sports do you remember? Sports. Famous sports. Uh, sport. Cycling is another sport. Climbing. Um, rugby. Rugby. Okay. Cycling. Climbing. Uh, surf. Tennis. Surfing. That's another sport. Surfing. Okay. Tennis. Tennis. A skateboard, says Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. You can type more ideas. Give me more ideas on the chat. 
Give me more ideas. Skateboarding. Do you know about skateboarding? Skate. Skateboarding. That's another sport. Golf. Golf, correct. Run, run, running or oh, athletic? Running, yes, that's another sport. Running, thank you. Mm -hmm. Lifting, do you know what the meaning of lifting is? Lifting. Las pesas, cuando usted le va al gimnasio, eso es un deporte. Uh -huh. Lifting. Uh -huh. What other sport do you remember? Okay, let me go ahead and share my computer's screen. And once you can see it, just let me know, please. You will be able to see some sports that we have in the United States. Okay, can you see the computer screen or not yet? Yes, I, I can. I can see. Okay, thank you. Yes. All righty. Move the page is other icon, okay. Okay, here you have the sports name. Look at this sport. A sport, this sport is cycling. Okay, you also have cricket. Cricket. This is another sport, shooting. Shooting. You also have horse racing, another sport, horse racing you have a skateboarding this is a skateboarding you have surfing which is another sport karate all right we also have weight lifting weight lifting que se levanta pesas fishing that's another sport Judo. You also have climbing. Swimming. Okay. Billards or pool. That's in the United States. Pools. High jumping. Rugby. And athletics okay now guys i want to ask you this question let me type let me write it down over here teacher yes what is the difference between judo and karate judo and karate okay judo if you see uh the rule is to Pull the other person down. El, con el judo, cuando ganan es cuando la persona cae al suelo, nada más. Y el karate no. El karate, si se fijan, es defensa personal. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So the question will be, what kinds of sport what kind of a sport do you practice? Okay, question for uh, Julio. What kinds of a sport do you practice? What kinds of a sport do you practice? No. 
my uh -huh. my sport practice uh -huh. only is football soccer soccer yes okay thank you soccer do you practice now nidia what kinds of sport do you practice Oh, Nidia is not here, I think. Let's listen to Catherine. What kinds of sport do you practice? Well, in my case, it's really difficult to practice um, some of the sport because I don't have enough time. But mm -hmm. I would like to try because I think it's about the stress. Which one? The shooting. Ah, shooting, okay. That's interesting. Yes, it's interesting. Uh huh. The last time I saw a video about a girl who was really good at shooting, and she was beautiful but dangerous as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's listen to another person. Co uh, Flor de Maria, what kinds of sport do you practice? Uh, I am is practicing cycling. Cycling, okay. In my case, I I practice cycling. I practice swimming, and I practice athletics. I love running. Those are the three sports I practice. I love them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Julia, what kinds of sport do you practice? You are mute. Está en silencio. Es okay, la emoción but... de querer participar. It's okay. Ah, hmm. I am practicing. I practice. I practice. Uh, softball. Okay. Or baseball, right? Or baseball. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Wilbur, what kinds of sport do you practice? I practice wave lifting every day. Okay, natural or do you drink uh, some proteins? Mm. Nat natural. Natural? Okay, that's good. Great. Uh, let's see, Consuelo, what kinds of sport do you practice? Um, I don't know, practice any deport. Okay, so Gabriela, what kind of sport do you practice? I practice soccer. Okay, Anna, what kind of sport do you practice? Ana Esmeralda, what kinds of sports do you practice? I'm sorry? I don't like practicing sports. You don't like practicing sports? Okay. I recommend you to, I recommend you to practice swimming. I love swimming. Swimming and running, those are my favorites. Esos son los que más me gustan. Eh, correr y nadar. Y practica. Perdón. Practica. Sí, los practico. Sí. Este es el, eh, el correr o athletics. Este corro tres veces por semana. Lunes sí, martes no, miércoles sí, viernes no, y así. Y swimming lo practico los fines de semana. Ajá. 
pero sí son los que más me gustan. Antes practicaba eh, soccer, pero eh, como cuando ingresé a la U, ya dejé de, de estar en equipos y decidí optar por estas dos. Y son buenas porque te mantienen en forma y te ayuda a la salud. Bueno, sí, sí. No me, honestamente no me canso. Y donde vivo hay, hay como una pendiente súper empinada y no me canso. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you guys for participating. Teacher, yes. a mí no me pregunto. Oh, what can you support your practice? Pues la verdad, uh, I don't know practice any sport. Mm -hmm. In my adolescence, soccer player, um, soccer, mm -hmm. in, también correr, pero ahora ya no. Ok. It's okay. Les voy a contar una pequeña historia rapidito. Fíjense que yo eh, antes vivía en Santa Tecla. Estuve viviendo un tiempo en Santa Tecla. Y la, la cosa es que a, a mí siempre me ha gustado el deporte. Y en el cafetalón es súper grande, ¿verdad? Y hay una gran pista para que puedas correr. Y... A mí siempre me ha gustado, entonces como había, como después de jugar soccer, opté por la, ya sea natación o, o, o para, para correr, running, este, yo iba a correr ahí al cafetalón y me gustaba ir en la, ya sea en las mañanas o en las tardes, pero la cosa es que ahí la gente a las 4 de la mañana ya, este, ya anda corriendo, la gente que entra temprano va. Ya a las 5 desayunan y a las 6 ya van para el trabajo. Pero es como una rutina. Ahí hay un montón de gente a las 4 de la mañana, todo el mundo anda corriendo. Bueno, la cosa es que a mí se me hizo como costumbre, ¿verdad? Ir a correr a, esa, a esas horas, ya sea en la, en la madrugada o en las tardes. Depende cómo me quedaba tiempo. Cuando me moví a donde vivo actualmente, este, hay una, miren, hay una, una, una pista grandísima que la gente la puede aprovechar. Pero ¿saben qué es la ironía? que a nadie le gusta correr. Soy el único que corre en las mañanas. Y cuando la, la primera vez que me vieron corriendo, este, se, si, solo para que des una vuelta completa, te tardás 20 minutos. Imagínense que es súper grande, es un gran predio. Y subís, luego bajás, luego subís, luego bajás. Entonces, quieras o no, botás energía, ¿verdad? Eh, calorías. Y la primera vez que me vieron corriendo acá, se me quedaban viendo así como bien raro. ¿Y este qué le pasó? ¿Está loco qué? Pero no aprovecha la gente. Y es tan bonito. Después que haces ejercicio, te sentís tan relajado. No importa el problema que hayas tenido, el estrés. Siempre te sentís súper bien. ¿Sí, Luis? Sí, yo, I... I practice uh, work in the cafe talon, in the tecla, pero <laughs> ya lo dejé de practicar, la verdad, pero sí lo sigue. Mm, no, sí, no lo <laughs> Sí. Lo que pasa es que lo hacía con otra persona, pero yo sola me, no hallaba mucho valor de ir. Mm. Por el lugar. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, hay, otro, hay otro deporte que me gusta, eh, pero sí tuve miedo, lo intenté, pero sentí que me iba a quebrar los dientes, es eh, patinaje. Ahí en el cafetalón mucho, muchas personas patinan, pero sí, me, me dio un poquito de miedo. Practiqué como unas tres veces, con patines profesionales, pero sentí miedo. Ok, uh, let me go ahead and show you the computer screen. However, I think it's loading. In the meantime, we're going to uh, ask and answer questions using uh, the simple present. Let's see. So, we were talking about Uh, different kinds of sports. 
in the question I was asking was what kinds of sport do you practice? What kinds of sport do you practice? Right now, let me go ahead and show you that computer screen. Let me just reload it. Once you can see it, just let me know, okay? Does it sound like a deal? No, I can't know. You cannot see it. No. All right. Let me try one more time then. Give me some seconds. Okay, can you see it now? No yet. Uh, no, I can see. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Wilbert, can you please read the objective for today's lesson? The lesson objective. Okay. <clears throat> by by the end by the end of this class, you will learn to ask and answer simple present W question. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic. I'm sorry. This uh, is the this this is the first one. Okay. The first uh, lesson yet. Read it again. I'm sorry. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sport in the US, US and Canada. Okay, let me go ahead and play the video. Once you can listen and watch to the video, just let me know. All right. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn Can you listen vocabulary to? related to popular sports in the US and Canada. Yes. Let's get started. Yes, I did and practice the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the US and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, People play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys. Previously, we were discussing about the kinds of sports that we practice, okay? And if you realized, uh, you were able to see some sports in winter, some sports in fall, some sports in summer, okay? What else do you remember from the video? What, what other sports can you practice in the USA and Canada?
I remember mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's sky. Okay. In the, in the winter. Okay. Is that, is that it? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Julio, read the, the lesson objective, please. Because okay. we were discussing about the sports. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple person WH question. Additionally, additionally, you practice, additional, you will practice and um, a, a conversation which illustrates how this, this topic is, is used in the real life city, city. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple pressing WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting teacher uh -huh. i have a question yeah uh, what's your question yeah. uh i heard you you say when read the letter a you say a, a. Mm -hmm. read yes okay. i heard you now Right now, no le aplicó. No sé si yo, yo le, no le escuché. Mm, ok. Eh, vaya, le voy a explicar. Usted normalmente, los gringos dicen A, pero no hay ningún problema que usted diga A. Sin embargo, si usted quiere sonar más nativo, usted puede decir A. ¿Se entiende? Yes, yes. Ok, entonces si, si usted dice A, ah, no hay ningún problema. Sin embargo, los gringos van a decir, ah, este es latino, o tiene acento latino. Si lo escuchan por el teléfono, ¿verdad? Yes. Obviamente si lo ven físicamente, es obvio que va a decir es latino. Pero si está hablando por, te, por el teléfono y usted eh, trata de usar como el acento americano, ellos van a decir, ah, este chico tiene buen acento. Okay. Pero no hay ningún problema. Ellos entienden. Bueno, bueno. Estamos. Ok. Thank you. Let's continue. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm, hockey. Baseball and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. 
The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb, do. After that, we add the subject, you. Next, we add the verb, play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with? without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, thank you guys for paying attention and let's see, let me share my PowerPoint presentation I prepared and once you can see it, just let me know. Can you? or you cannot? Yes, I can see. Okay. First, guys, what I want you to pay close attention is to the WH words, okay? Basically, this is a review from uh, the previous classes because we have already studied this topic before, but this is going to be like a reinforcement, okay? So, for example, you had the WH words. Uh, Julio, when do we use when? Uh, I use when for us, for us, uh, the place. Don't invent. Really? When is, donde? No, where, cuando. Uh, Mm -hmm. Look at this no. example to ask about time. 
Is it clear? But I, I, I yes, but I, I am, I, I, I use it for, uh, for time. What? What can be uh, used for time and to ask about personal information? What's your name? Okay, what's your last name? What's your first name? Oh, okay. What okay. time is it? When's your birthday? If I ask you when's your birthday, so you can use when yeah. to ask about time or dates. Or, for example, if I ask you, when do you eat your lunch? You can say, oh, I eat my lunch right. at noon, at 1 p.m., at 2 p.m. So to ask about time or dates. Okay, I, I understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So let's listen to Catherine. When do we use why? When ask about reasons. To ask about reason. So all of these are WH words. Okay. So continue. L Lorena, when do we use wish? Is Lorena here? Lisseth, continue. When do we use wish? Uh, Wilbur, continue. Chicos, me escuchan. Sí, sí. <clears throat> um, uh, which not, not. Tengo muy claro qué significa que eso, teacher. Which es cuál? Oh. ¿Cuál color te gusta? ¿Negro o rojo? Which color do you like? ¿Black or red? My favorite color is black. Ok. So, you use wish to ask about choices. Julia, when do we okay. use whom? Teacher, ¿qué uh -huh. significa who? ¿A uh, quién? Uh, ¿A quién? Uh -huh. uh, ¿Cómo formularía ahí la pregunta? Uh, to whom do you send the flowers yesterday? Whom, mm. ¿qué significa, me dijo? ¿Quién? ¿A quién? ¿Quién a quién? Vaya, ¿cómo formulo entonces yo esa oración? To whom did you send the flowers yesterday? Flower? Ah, no, no sé qué me pregunta. Ok, let me write it down. Uh, Se lo voy a escribir en el chat. Por favor, teacher. To whom... Do you send the flowers now? To whom do you send these flowers? Okay. Okay, there you have. To whom do you send these flowers? Flowers. Ah, sería entonces cuáles son tus flores favoritas? No. I'm sorry. Um, do you, uh, to who do you send? Send, ¿qué significa? Send es este. Enviar. Enviar. Uh, the flower. Entonces yo respondería. Yo respondería. Uh, I. Uh -huh. I. I, I, no, sería, oh, a ver, ¿cómo le dijera? Se to, whom do you, 
to whom do you send the flowers? I send the flowers to Julio. I send the flowers to Wilbur. I send the flowers to Douglas. I send the flowers to Lisette. Those are the answers. Do who do, do, who do you send the flower? Uh, Catherine. Are you asking the question or are you just giving an statement? Ay, me la ¿Está, pregu a... ¿Está preguntando o solo está formando una oración? Ahí solo estaría formando una oración. No, pero la, pre la, la, la expresión que hizo anteriormente que yo le preguntara, ¿estaba preguntándole a alguien o estaba solo formando una oración? Ahí solo estoy formando una oración. Ok. All right. Now, let's listen to Wilbur. Uh, when do we use what? Mm, what? It's a... Um, we use a uh, veces lo usamos para hacer una pregunta ¿no? todas estas palabras las usamos para hacer preguntas todas entonces aquí tengo que formular yo una pregunta no, lo que quiero es es que miren, esto está fácil lo que van haciendo es solo leen, leyendo ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar? ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar when? para preguntar sobre tiempo ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo vamos a utilizar why? Para preguntar sobre razones. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar wish? Para preguntar sobre eh, opciones. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar whom? Para preguntar sobre personas. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar what? To ask for information. Para preguntar sobre información personal. Ok, Wilbur, when do we use where? Um, as uh, but Place. Places, to ask about places. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yarixa, when do we use who's? Who's ask about positions. Possession. Julio, when do we use who? I use who when ask about people. Thank you. And Consuelo, when do we use how? Uh, has about process. Processes. Process. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's see. We're going to move to the sentence structure. If you see, we have here who which is the WH word, when, what, where, why, and how. Keep in mind that we use do for I and for you. We use does for he, for she, for it. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. We use yeah. do for you, for we, for they. So you don't need to say does you or does we, does they, that is incorrect. Okay. So that's just with he, she, and it. Okay. For example, if I ask you this question, the question goes to Wilbur. Who do you study with? Don't forget the question mark at the end. Question mark. 
So, who do you study with? Wilbur, what will be your answer? Who do you Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Can study with. Uh-huh. Who do you study with? What would be your answer? Um I I study mm -hmm. every every night. No. English? No, no, no. No. Traducí, traducí esta oración, esta pregunta. ¿Qué dice en español? Who do you study with? ¿Qué dice en español esta pregunta? ¿Con quién estudias? ¿O con quién estudias? ¿O con quién estudias? Ok. Perfecto, ¿verdad no. que no, no dice nada, no. nada acerca no, no. Del, del tiempo? Exacto, no, no coincidiría. Ajá, no tiene nada de sentido. Ustedes tienen que hacerse esa pregunta ustedes mismos y decir, ¿será que lo que estoy diciendo tiene sentido o no tiene sentido? O solo por hablar. Ajá, entonces este, tenemos que hacernos esa pregunta primero. U uh, Les voy a dar un consejo, usen... En inglés se llama self-correction. Corrección personal. Si usted ya escuchó de que um, el, el WH word que es where es para lugares, pero usted quiere preguntar sobre información personal, entonces, usted no va a decir, uh, where, what is your name? ¿Verdad? Porque si lo traduce, si dice, where is your name? ¿Dónde está tu nombre? ¿Verdad? El español. Ah, y dice, ah, no, no tiene sentido. Pero qué tal si uso what? What is your name? Ah, ¿cuál es tu nombre? Ahí sí, ya tiene sentido. Entonces, tienen que hacer el uso de autocorrección, corregirse ustedes mismos antes de ser corregidos. Clear? So, Wilbert, one more time. Who do you study with? What's your answer? Mm, I study with um, es con quien estudio. Ajá. Uh -huh. El with reemplaza al con. Uh -huh. Y para decir estudio solo, algo así, ¿cómo tendría que decir? I study alone. I study alone. Esa sería una respuesta. Sí. O I study with teacher Douglas. Ok, que sería lo más correcto. Lo más correcto. Uh -huh. Estudio con el teacher Douglas. Uh -huh. eh, teacher, una pregunta. Y si yo quiero decir, este, ¿dónde van, vamos, o van a jugar? Eh, sería, where, where do you go play? Where, ok. Where do, do you go play? You play. Uh, Where do you play? ¿Dónde juegas? Omit, omito el go. Ajá, pues sí, porque no un... tenemos el verbo play acá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces decís, where, where do, do you play? You play. Uh -huh. uh, okay. ¿Dónde juegas? O sea que su base acá está en la WH word. Tiene que saber primero qué significa, y eso ya lo vimos. Sí. ¿Qué significa cada una? Y ya cuando usted sabe qué significa, de aquí parte usted. Ok. Teacher, uh -huh. yes. teacher o sea que yes, si lo encuentro, 
si lo encuentro a quien sea, yo le digo, y lo veo en deporte y todo, le digo, where do you play? Esa es una pregunta. ¿no? Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. where, where do you study? Ah, study. ¿Dónde estudias? Uh -huh. ¿Ve? Uh -huh. Where do you study? I study at... I study. Oh. Inglés corporativo. Eh, inglés corporativo. Inglés okay. corporativo. Online. Okay. Online. So, how do you write or spell your name? How do you spell your name? See? Teacher. Yes. Voy a hacer una, la respuesta así, por ejemplo. For example, I study English with my classmates. I study with my classmates. Correcto. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Vaya. Uh, let's see. I'm going to select some of you. Fíjense que si así me hubieran enseñado a mí el inglés con manzanitas, créanme que en dos años hubiera aprendido. Pero me costó. A mí me costó bastante. No es fácil. Y ahora pregúntense ustedes, esta señora de 51 años queriendo inventar algo. Ah. Fíjense que la edad no, la edad no es, no es este excusa, ni es un límite. Sí, sí. Porque, porque yo he tenido alumnos. Tampoco sentirse vieja porque 51 años todavía está a la mitad de los 100. Ajá. Porque yo he tenido alumnos que, de hecho, tu, tuve algunos alumnos como de 60 años. Y créanme que eran los mejores de la clase. ¿Quién hay? Por ejemplo, Julio. Julio. Ah, vaya, miren, Julio tiene sus años y, y, y tiene bastante conocimiento. I am 65 years old. Wow. I... I need try. I need learn English. You need to learn English. But, yes. Okay. Uh, That's great. Así voy, uh, voy en español. No nos achiquemos. Démosle. Algo yes. vamos a aprender. Pues, <laughs> yo eso le quería decir al teacher. ¿Verdad que esta semana, esta semana se termina el, el programa? Correcto. Fíjense que, no sé, yo he perdido semanas porque me fui donde mi madre. Alguien me llamó y dos semanas que yo no estuve en casa hasta este lunes que me conecté. Y yo me he comprometido a entregar todo, pero no sé, si ya no me toman en cuenta, pues tengo que esforzarme para entregar todo. Pero yo sí quisiera volver a repetir desde un principio. Uh -huh. En otro curso que me metan, no sé, o, 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 o por ley tengo que ver cómo saco esas tareas para enviarlas esta semana. Uh, viernes hasta las 12 de la noche. Viernes hasta las 12. Sí. Oh, en mi caso, ya uno es uno, no es tanto entregar la tarea, sino el aprendizaje que uno necesita. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, yo necesito, me quedo como así mucho eh, para viajar. Necesito. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo siento que para ahorita, es como decía el compañero ahí, yo la puedo ir tomando y si la escucha ya no las puedo hablar, no las entiendo, ¿verdad? Y eso sí. Entonces, no sé usted por su experiencia si tengo que correr con esta o me pueden agregar en otro curso que tengan cuando no sé también. Eh, ya ese sería un proceso administrativo que le recomiendo si está en el grupo consultarlo. Ellos uh -huh. con todo gusto le van a responder porque uh -huh. eh, ahí sí le quedó mal. Uh, yo puedo decir algo. Uh -huh. Sí, con la duda que tiene la compañera, o sea, ya enviar un, un formulario que tienes que completar y reenviarlo nuevamente como cuando hiciste al principio. Mm. Y hacer un proceso. Uh -huh. Ajá. Gracias, compañera. Muy amable. Vaya, vamos a seguir con este tipo de preguntas el día de mañana. Y eh, quiero... Quiero consultarles si, aparte de las preguntas que ya me hicieron, tienen alguna otra pregunta antes de dejarlos ir. Recuerden que el jueves culminamos con este curso. 
¿sí? Sí. Eh, luego ya de ahí empiezan, no sé si empiezan con otro teacher o conmigo, pero igual van a iniciar un curso nuevo. Ok. okay. Gracias, teacher. A De question. nada. Ajá. Eh, fíjese que con Nidia estábamos llenando la, la plataforma, pero el problema es que no sé si no nos agarra el apóstrofe o lo estamos escribiendo mal. En lo, pero es de, eso es más en la plataforma más adelante. Pensé que ahora la íbamos a alcanzar a llegar hasta ahí. Pero eh, ajá, es que, digamos, es de las habilidades de can en can, pero no nos agarra eh, el apóstrofe y tampoco ponerlo así normal. Vaya, mándenme una captura y yo les voy a ayudar. Ok. Ver, yo tengo yo tengo el mismo problema que Katherine. Yo creo que entonces ya somos varios los que todo, todas las preguntas nos salen malas. Y yo ya mandé en dentro del chat, yo ya, ya lo dije, pero no me han dado contestación. Vaya, este, ¿qué unidad es? Es la sección 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, porque son cinco secciones. No, es, es de los, por decirlo así, de los exámenes finales. Pero yo tenía ese problema y, y sí creo que ha de ser el apóstol. Porque no me lo aceptaba. Ya di que cambié eso. Ya me lo, me lo, lo puso. O sea, me lo tomó como bueno. Pues. Usted Vaya, puede hacer eso. tómenle captura, mándenlo al grupo y lo corregimos entre todos. Los tengo que dejar porque voy para la otra clase. Nos vemos mañana. Bye. 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 Bye.